After a mild winter in the northern Rockies, grizzly bears coming out of hibernation this spring may find fewer winter killed elk and deer. Searching for food could lead them to populated areas and more nasty encounters with people. There's getting to be more and more conflicts with livestock. Near Yellowstone National Park, many local residents now feel there are too many grizzlies. There's just uh, enough of them in the, in the, the true backcountry that there's just no, no more real room for them. That belief is now shared by federal and state wildlife authorities. We've seen increasing bear populations, and in fact, we've seen expansion of the bear population from the core area where it was in 1975 to refill most of the habitat today. Grizzlies were given federal protection under the Endangered Species Act a little over 30 years ago, when only about 200 bears survived in the greater Yellowstone area. Now they're said to number some 600, about half of all the grizzlies in the lower 48 states roaming in places beyond Yellowstone Park where they haven't been seen in a hundred years. Federal and state agencies have monitored grizzlies for decades, and they say evidence now shows grizzlies in Yellowstone have recovered enough to justify delisting. That means removing this population from federal protection. If the grizzly is delisted, it would become the 18th species to be officially declared recovered under the Endangered Species Act. Wildlife conservation groups say grizzly recovery so far has been a success. If it weren't for the Endangered Species Act, grizzlies in Yellowstone would now be extinct. Yet many of them say it's still too early to delist these bears. We would love to see the grizzly taken off the endangered species list when it's ready. But that can't happen if the laws that protect it are weakened, and if grizzly bears lose the few scraps of land where they can still live. That view is supported by leading scientists specializing in bears. But the grizzly issue is so contentious, it has divided wildlife conservation groups. The grizzly bear population today is too small and too isolated to be delisted. Even at meetings held for public comment on the delisting plan. Uh, the National Wildlife Federation strongly supports uh, the proposal to delist bears in the Yellowstone ecosystem. Some argue grizzly recovery is a clear victory for the Endangered Species Act that requires delisting. The Endangered Species Act makes a promise to the states that have traditionally managed wildlife species like grizzly bears that when recovery occurs, management will be returned to the states. They say they're confident Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming will enforce an agreed conservation strategy that would actually improve conditions for grizzlies after federal protection is removed. Others refute that. Delisting would mean more oil and gas development, more people moving into bear country, more poaching and illegal killing. A final decision on delisting is not expected for months, and lawsuits could delay it indefinitely. Meanwhile, five other populations of grizzlies in the northern Rockies are not doing nearly as well as the Yellowstone bears, and federal protection for them will continue. For Assignment Earth on Yahoo News, I'm Gary Stryker.